Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this two ringed lace pattern using shuttle tatting. By watching this video, the new concept that you're going to learn is how to do reverse work in tatting. For this lace pattern, all you need is a single thread and a single shuttle. I'm going to use a silicone thread. Okay, I've already loaded uh, this thread onto my shuttle. We will be following this pattern. Basically, first we are going to tat ring one and uh, this is how the pattern goes. Five double stitches, one pico, five double stitches, one pico, five double stitches, one pico and five double stitches which is we close the ring and move on to the second ring with five double stitches. Uh, this will be joined with our previous ring. Again, another five double stitches, then a pico and finally 10 double stitches with this we close the ring and we reverse the work to move on to the third ring. Now let's see how ring one is tatted. Take the thread end, okay, leave an inch cap and then wrap it across your fingers and you start with five double stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. So after the first five double stitches, we are leaving a pico and continue with another five double stitches. Three, four, and five. Now we are going to put the second pico followed by another five double stitches. Three, four, and five. Okay, let's put the last pico, the third pico and the final set of five double stitches. Again, three, four and five. Okay, so now I've tatted the stitches required for ring one. Let's close the ring. So just hold the last double stitch and pull the shuttle thread till the ring is closed. We've tatted the first ring. We now move on to the second ring the same way. You hold this thread end and pinch it closer to the ring one and tat the first half of the double stitch. Make sure there's no cap. It has to be held closer to the first ring. Now I'm putting the second half of the double stitch. So that makes my first double stitch for ring two. The second double stitch. Third, fourth, and the fifth. Okay. So now we have to join this ring with the previous one. So let's keep the last pico of ring one on top of the hand thread and pull the hand thread out of the pico and then pass the shuttle through the loop and then tighten it up. Now we have joined ring two with ring one. Let's start another five double stitches okay now we are going to put the next pico for ring two 
okay and let's start 10 double stitches okay so i started the stitches required for ring two let's now close the ring okay so we have started the first set of two rings now the pattern says we have to do reverse work so just flip your work like this and then start the stitches for ring three okay so before we do that the pattern says we have to leave a small gap okay so leave a gap the size of one double stitch okay just a small gap is enough and you have to that five double stitches okay so this thread let's uh, hold it back so that it doesn't disturb us so after tatting five double stitches it's time for us to put a pico so let's put one pico and continue with another five double stitches okay once again we have to put the second pico and another set of five double stitches and now let's put the last pico and five double stitches Okay, so I'm closing the third ring. Okay, so with this, let's continue with the fourth ring. Okay, so let's put the first half of the double stitch as close to the previous ring. Okay, and then the second half of the double stitch. So there is no gap between uh, ring 3 and ring 4. So let's continue with the stitches. Okay, so I've tatted 5 double stitches. Now we have to join it up with ring 3. Okay, now we have joined the fourth ring with the third one let's continue with the double stitches now i've tatted the stitches required for ring four i'm going to close this ring by pulling the shuttle thread okay now our pattern says we have to reverse the work so flip your work like this and then start with the ring five so before you start leave a small gap okay the size of one stitch one double stitch and you continue with the stitches for ring five so with this you're going to join it up with the pico of the last uh, ring so keep the pico on top and pull up the hand thread pass the shuttle and tighten it up so after joining let's continue with double stitches so let's close the ring okay now i'm going to put the stitches for ring six Okay, don't leave any cap for this. So now let's join ring six with rings five. So 
you know how to do that okay soon after it's joined another five double stitches next the last pico and 10 double stitches now I've tatted the stitches required for ring 6 I'm gonna close it up okay so after closing we have to reverse the work and keep tatting ring 7 ring 8 how many ever rings you want you can just keep on tatting so this is how you'll be tatting this two ringed uh, lace pattern by just uh, doing the reverse work. Hope you learned something new from this video. Keep practicing until we meet in the next video with another pattern. Thanks for watching. Happy tatting.